guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is moethia and welcome to this amazing amazing channel so today we are going to garden city to check out this new shop which has been open it's called mart panda mart in panda mart it was open yesterday so hopefully it won't be crowded people are saying it's like china square and i remember when china square opened it was super crowded i even went to china square like december last year december i don't know why i've not edited the vlog yet so yeah hopefully it's not crowded the same way it was china square was crowded during opening but let's go walk around check out the prices i'm not really going to buy anything per se i'm just going to check it out and know if i'll go buy stuff there and also today i've decided to go on my first solo date my aim is to go on a solo date every month like just check myself out it's not per se like a date date but like go out with the intention of going to have a nice dinner enjoy my company and all that so january is almost over i was to do this solo date in the 15th 15th of january and we are on the 20 to code it i'm not even sure which date we are <laughs> anyway to end to end this is my outfit i'll insert the outfit here and let's go to garden city mall and i'll let you know how that place is my phone is at 50 percent why why like why uh i charged it and then i started playing games on it and then i connected the charger again and i did not switch it on so i'm torn between carrying my power bank i'm just freelancing because i'm carrying this i wanna carry this capoch which is so small and if I carry a power bank, I'll have to carry a bigger bag. For sweater, to na frozen shine cookie kwa baridi to fungai. So if I'm carrying a power bank, I'll have to carry a bigger bag. Which I did not anticipate on doing that. But I think we'll have to carry the power bank for recording and also I'm an Mpesa gali. Every my money's in Mpesa, so Simangwe Kizima will have stress. So let's just find another bigger bag. Changed our bag to these which is a bit bulky. People walk around with power banks. How do you do it? But since I bought this power bank, I have to charge it. Bravo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Phone battery life is so low. I've had this phone for three years.
can bank on it. You can put a hundred grand on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Let it hold and call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on it. Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on it. Twist my fingers up on a bang on him. Lele ho, lele ho, yeah. Tobalo ko macho, yeah. Tobalo ma ko macho, yeah. Nobody know tomorrow. Choro ka choro. And if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he call matos. No. Your actions, I 
with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. I just wanna rough neck, nigga on the tongue. You just wanna send me automatic with a drop. Ask me if I'm finished now, nah, cause that just begun. I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun. Are you dumb? Uh uh. The man, I don't know no other man. Like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands. What? I don't even got me a hundred bands. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. Give me that song. For these window cleaners, like bro, it's
This place was so huge it had everything especially the workout equipment like they had nice yogas i need i'll upgrade my yoga mass they had weights they had the hula hoops anything you think of about working out and fitness it was here ropes boxing gloves boxing the boxing thingy what are they called the things you punch boxing bags you can see they had all kind of weights and i loved how they add pink and purple weights like <laughs> <laughs> they had everything weight related they had everything construction related i'm not even sure if i've shown you the construction thing is yet they had the construction things they had wheelbarrows they <laughs> They have everything, bicycles, the electric cars for the young kids, uh, everything from aesthetics to functional. Uh, for the, as you can see, they, they also have keyboards, like they had keyboards. And this keyboard was going for like 11,000, like 10,000 there. Keyboards were ranging from there to, they had even the bigger keyboards for like 30,000. So I'm not sure if I recorded that. They have everything, bicycles, umbrellas deco pieces to beds and wardrobes and they even one thing i saw which was interesting i don't know why it's not recorded they had air mattresses <laughs> so if you're the kind of person who gets guests and you don't know where to place them and you don't want to buy them an extra mattress yeah they had air mattresses for as cheap as two thousand one thousand to two thousand and a bigger air mattress for 13,000. I don't know the difference. What the difference? 
So they also had a downstairs, as you've seen. They they are they want to open another downstairs as big as these. They are they had balls. They even had tissue papers, toiletries, hair picks, and the <laughs> cleaning products, like anything you can think of, is right here in this shop. Uh, is it cheaper? From my opinion, is it cheaper? Mm, yeah, compared to China Square, I can say it's a bit cheaper because last time I was in China Square, I was looking for art. And when I looked at the art here, it was cheaper than in China Square. Mm, <clears throat> about Kamkunji, let's say the prices are almost the same. The good thing with here is that you get variety and the convenience of buying everything under one roof. So, yeah. They had... Anything you can think of was right here. Dust beans, doormats, brushes. Like right here, I was looking at the bags, the dustbin bags, which I've been looking for. And it's cheaper than supermarkets. Wallahi, well, it's cheaper than supermarkets, but it's not cheaper than Kamkunji. But the problem with Kamkunji is that you'll have to go to many, to different, different shops to get one thing. So I'm not sure about the saving parts of it that much because I've not bought all these things anywhere else but like they had things I was looking for and they are hard to find unless you know the plugs like the window squeegees like the mops which self squeeze uh cute art pieces which are not hard to find but you in Kenya if you're looking for them you'll have to go deep deep into places to to find them so that's why I think stores like these are booming in Kenya. But don't go there without a budget, my friend. You will spend. You will spend. You'll find yourself buying everything because everything is cute. Everything is something you've been you've been looking for. It's something you looked for three years ago and you forgot that you needed it and now you find it here and you like why was I almost buying an air mattress? Uh, they even have these what well, these what are they called? I was almost buying a a a, a, a sander like this thing of constructing and a machine gun, and they were a bit affordable. I'm not sure about the affordability of the of the construction thingies and the DIY things and the. I'm not sure because I've not bought them, so I can't say if they are cheaper or expensive. They even had a car selection pass. I don't think I filmed that. Anything from hardware stores. To aesthetics, to flowers, to decos, to bed. If you can think about it, you can find it in China Square. One thing I did not find, which I was going to look for, was the filming equipment, like the tripods, the ring lights, uh, maybe cameras, but I don't think I can buy a camera in this store. Oh, it's not China Square, it's Panda Mart. I was looking for the tripods, actually, and uh, what else, what else? I was looking for a tripod and um, a ring light to compare the prices and the just filming equipment, but they, they are yet to come. They had not brought them yet. They are yet to come. But yeah, uh, the heavy, heavier things at this door, it's cheaper. The aesthetics things, it's almost the same price as Kamkunji. The workout thingy, it's so much convenience because they have it. They even had spray paints. <sighs> I don't know. I was so tired walking around. I was so tired walking around and I was like, yeah, sign me up. <laughs>
have said they had unique things which you find hard to find. As you've seen, they have the vaccine kit, which was going for 1,060 shillings. They also have a variety of flat irons. I'm not a wig gully, but I'm sure the wig gullies will find that interesting. Uh, this was a bit interesting. Turn the other side. Turn, turn, turn. Okay. Yeah, this one. They had hoods, kitchen hoods. I did not check the price. I don't know why. How much did I? And they had like the countertop stores. Like this store is selling everything. I can't vouch for the quality. I can't see the price. I can't vouch for the quality. But they have everything. Anything and everything. Uh, for the other electronics, Kina, fridge and TVs. Uh, the price, I think it's almost the same as supermarkets. Because for the big brands, if they are here, they are being sold by the brand like Kina LG. But they did have some interesting brands I've never heard of or seen. But for the other fridge and washing machines and any, if it was Hisense, the company was there selling it. So it's almost the same as the supermarket. So there's not that big of a difference. They had these same chairs. And uh, of course, I remembered I recorded the air mattress. Uh, they had these curtains, soft blind curtains, which is a bit unique thing. It was going for 2,900. I don't know how you install it. I don't know how they look, but I think they are the curtains. Is our zungu up and down, up and down. <laughs> yeah, here's the air mattress. Like you have the sleeve one for like 3,900 and booty, and then there was another one which was going for. 13k i think it's the huge one so they had a variety of air mattress like yeah this one would go for 13k i think it's a Sayoni king size like this store had everything from outdoor furniture from tents you can see here's a tent that tent you know up here everything anything and everything you can think of some are essentials like you can go buy there but i don't see why you're going to buy a Anyway, if you buy dining sets in a supermarket, go buy one here. <laughs> As in, if there's something you've been looking for and you can't find it in the stores in Kenya, Ama, you want to compare the prices between the stores in Kenya and if it's been sold fair. Oh, I love this chair. This chair was so cute, but it was going for 9000 And they had an orange one. So if you want to compare the prices, you can go check it out. Like I said, they have the especially the working gear i don't know the names of the working gears the shears the gardening tools the construction tools the fundies tools you can go compare here but i'm not sure if i would advise anyone to buy electronics here especially if it's not a known brand they had everything they had all the brands but the known brands the brand thing is where they are selling them it was not from the store directly I was tired walking around after all these and I did not buy anything because as I told you when I was getting in line is going to pick a corner by the time I was I was halfway walking around I was like let me go get a cut maybe I can get like four things because I saw things I was interested in in line is going to pick a corner I was like no I'm not I'm not so if you want to buy everything like if you want to furnish a house from start to end i think you can come here comparison price i'm not the best person to give you a comparison i've not bought most of, most of these things i don't know the difference of the prices so if you ask me if gumboots are cheaper in pandamash than in kamkunji i won't tell you because i don't know i've never bought gumboots but yeah for the electronics i saw that the price was the same uh for the aesthetics thingy it was a bit cheaper but the thing which made me so happy is that they have like things which you look for for a while before you find a supplier like the spray paint and the I don't know what else people look for. Yeah, this is the line. Where is the line now? Ah, my phone is so shaky here. <laughs> I'm also so bit tired editing this video. Why did I go back to? Why did I go outside now? Anyway, the line was so large. And I was so tired and I had just to go out and say goodbye. I'll come back when everything comes down and if I'm going to buy things, I'll be here. Early in the morning, like if you want to buy things, I think just go when they are opening. Shop your things faster before the line becomes large. Because this time it was evening, so everybody was there and it was, a, it was that evening, so everybody was there. 
so any day i'll decide to buy things i'll pop in early in the morning get my things faster and leave just left panda mask like it's right there above me i don't know anything as you can see i've not bought anything to miss this kick panga lines i am so hungry let's look for somewhere to eat why not 